Good morning, cutie. How was your nap? <laughs> Struggling won't do you much good. That rope around your wrist is way too tight for you to simply shrug off. <laughs> Listening to your little heart stammering away is so cute. Something about it just brings out the predator in me. Seeing how helpless your kind is against my ferality makes me feel so, so much better. <laughs> let, let you go? And why would I do that? I thought I had already made it clear earlier. You're mine now. I own you. You will be my pet for the rest of your frail little life. And there's nothing you can do about it. Why you? <laughs> That's quite simple. Because I've been watching you. Every day. For months. Day after day. Week after week. And in that time, I've seen what you're truly like when you think no one else is watching you. The kindness, empathy, and respect that you show to the other creatures around you is nothing like the rest of your kind. After so long alone, I, I wanted to feel those things too. I, I deserve... To feel those things. Especially after what your kind has done to me. <laughs> oh, you may not have done anything, but my pack didn't do anything either. And your kind still slaughtered us. We lived our lives peacefully, keeping to our domain and allowing the humans to expand theirs. That was our biggest mistake. You monsters ambushed our encampment one day. You slaughtered all the elders as they slept like the cowards you are. And then, and then you decided to domesticate us that remained. Children, no older than six winters, bundled into carts and bound with muscles and rope to be sold as pets. I alone escaped that fate, and I have lived here all my life without any compassion, without any love, because of what you things did. <sighs> well, now I've found a human, I want to be my pet. It's only fair after all. An eye for an eye and all that. I can finally get the compassion I have been robbed of for so, so many years. And you have no reason to refuse me. You just lost your dog after all. Now, you're alone too. Just like me. But... If you just give in to me and obey, then we don't have to be. I'll give you all the love and affection that's been building up inside of me. I knew I wanted to own you from the first time I saw you walking through the woods. So please, my little pet, give in to me and let me own you. <laughs> no? <laughs> No! Wrong answer. You seem to be under the misconception that you have a choice. You have no choice. Not anymore. I will make every decision for you. Where you go, what you eat, even what you wear. I will decide all of that for you. So if I decide that you're going to be my pet, you are going 
to be my pet. Understood? <laughs> You're really, really trying to test my patience, huh? That's fine. I expected resistance initially. Your people are pretty well known for their tenacity. But, luckily for me, that can be broken. Stay still. Ah, uh ah, -uh. if you struggle again, my hand may slip, and I might accidentally end up breaking that fragile little neck of yours. And we wouldn't want that, now would we? No, so be good, and stay still. There we are. My pet looks so pretty in her muzzle. Now you know how it feels. When you start becoming more obedient, I'll consider taking the muzzle off. But for now, I decide when I want you to speak. And currently, all I need you to do is listen. Listen to your owner. I am going to train you. Thoroughly. You won't even be able to consider running away from me when I am done. I am going to put you through the same kind of rigorous education that me and my packmates were put through. You will wake up every single morning with a smile on your face because your master is there. You won't need to think or do anything at all. All you need to do is keep me company. Doesn't that sound like such a lovely life? No more worries or stress. Being cared for and loved more than any of your kind could give you. Never being alone. I don't particularly like that glare you're giving me. For some reason, you can't seem to comprehend the place you're in. Did you forget that I can choke you out any time I want? That I can outrun you? That I can hit you ten times harder than you could ever hit me? Did you? <laughs> then let me remind you. Aw, what's wrong? Does it hurt? Hmm. <laughs> Luckily for you, I decided to be kind this time. You're winded. That's all. You should feel better when you get some bear back in you. However, <laughs> if you were to keep being disobedient and glaring at me, then maybe next time I wouldn't be so nice. Maybe I may end up, I don't know, accidentally breaking something. And without those doctors around that your pathetic kind rely on, you might never get better. Though, I will warn you, if you try to run from me, I will break those legs of yours without a second of hesitation. And it won't be an accident. For now, I still wish to walk the forest with you. To feel the companionship and joy that you felt while walking your dog. However, I'm not opposed to carrying you around instead. Your weight is nothing to me. So be very, very careful what you try, because otherwise, you might end up needing to crawl around my cave. Now, you will stay here. I have something I must do. <sighs> if you must know, I'm going to bury your friend. 
because his presence here could attract other predators, and unlike me, they'll rip you to pieces. Besides, I had nothing against it. It was simply another victim of your kind's incessant need for domestication and control. If I were you, I wouldn't try anything while I'm gone. My sense of smell is so keen that I can track down your exact position in minutes. So be a good pet and stay.